Thank you, Mr. Davis. So, if you guys can help me welcome Deborah Davis. And she is. Thank you for the kind introduction. We should mention that Kinky Boots is a movie <laughs> that uh, is going to be coming up. Because uh, I was thinking, Kinky Boots, what's that? So you, if you want to see a really fun film, uh, come to see that as part of the coming out week or two weeks celebration here. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Uh, I've had a really fun time in my short time here in your town and getting to meet some of the folks and having dinner. And uh, I have a friend that lives here, from, and so I've had a very, very fun time here, a short time I'll be here. And I'm going to come back. I just love, love it so far. Again, I'm the executive director of the Gender Education Center, a small little nonprofit corporation up in a, the northwest suburbs of the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul. We do education, outreach, and training. We talk about what it's like to be a transgender person and how that might relate to you or the people that you know or the school you go to or the company that you work in. And we've been doing this work for about 16 years. We do 70 to 80 events like this a year. Uh, just talking to folks about what it's like to be transgender. Uh, I'm also a retired high school librarian. I, I, we should have mentioned that I am retired now. Uh, I retired after 32 years in the Minneapolis public schools. Uh, and uh, I'm going to tell the story about when I transitioned some years ago from one gender to another. It looked like it was over a weekend. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more to it than that. But that's what people saw, and that was what the headlines were. And it's kind of big at this time because it as far as they know, it had never been done successfully in the country, possibly the world, to that point. And I'll tell you that story and what that's all about. Um, so I'm really excited to be here. I'm pleased to be here for your National Coming Out Day and National Coming Out Week celebration. Um, so uh, and I want to thank our sponsor, the Diversity Awareness Office, Student Activities, the Women's Center, the Unitarian Church, QSA, which is the Queer Student Alliance, maybe it's the True Queer State Straight Alliance, um, and also the Library of the Arts and Lectures, the ASMSU, whatever that stands for, you know. <laughs> and I apologize for not knowing. <laughs> but, I, but I don't know, I'm not sure it has something to hike it up to the M or what. I'm not. Um, so, um, and I don't even know if I can do the easy path up there. <laughs> so, not in his heels, I think. So, I'm really pleased to be here. So, what are we going to do tonight? We're going to start out with definitions. We're going to talk about what this transgender thing is all about, and I'm going to give you a base to work from. Then we're going to talk a little bit about general information about <coughs> transgender people. There's some things we have in common, even though we're all very, very different. We're going to talk about my life a little bit as a transgender person, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but there's some things I remember that I want to share with you about growing up and what that's like. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about what it was like to come out at Southwest High School in the Minneapolis Public Schools as a transgender person. I'll share that with you. Uh, I have some random thoughts. Now, in, yeah, you see she's a librarian. Of course, she has like random thoughts. Um, usually, when I'm the night before, or sitting on the airplane, when I'm going to a place like this, I'm sitting, sitting there thinking, okay, what else do I want to say? What else do I want to talk about? So these are the things that I was thinking about last night that don't fit anywhere else nice and neatly into my presentation. So I have a place to put them so they're random files. There's just a few things, I spend a couple minutes on each one. Then we'll have what's called interactive dialogue. Now this piece used to be called questions and answers. You know, you ask the questions, I answer. But I do a lot of colleges and universities now, and I'm trying to keep up with your dialogue and to use the big words that you use. So question and answer is now interactive dialogue. <laughs> You ask the questions, I'll answer them, I'll ask questions, you ask etc. et cetera. Um, then uh, we'll do some final thoughts. I need five minutes at the end to kind of close and uh, let you know what's, what's happening. Actually, the first half of this, all the way to this point, this whole top part, I'm going to do it in about 45 minutes. Uh, and then we're going to do most of it here to give you a chance to ask the questions, because I want to I find out where you want to take me. I want to find out you want to know, and that's what we'll talk about. And that's the most fun for me. I could talk for three, four hours, three, four days about this, but I won't, I won't do that with it. And then, of course, interactive dialogue are my final thoughts. So that's, I guess you can kind of tell I was a teacher. You know, I kind of tell you what we're going to talk about. 
Then we'll talk about it. And then we'll talk about what we talked about. Again, that process of learning. <laughs> I guess you never learned that. So let's start with a definition. Transgender. Everybody gets their paper and pencil. I wish it was like that when I was teaching high school. A broad term used to